The scattering parameters of a network describe the reflection and transmission of voltage waves impinging upon its ports. The scattering parameters of an in-port network are stated as an n-by-n -N matrix with n-squared elements. Each element of the S matrix has two subscripts, the first of which indicates the port at which the energy exits the network, and the second of which indicates the port at which that energy entered the network. It is important to note that the scattering parameters are defined in terms of voltage waves, not total port voltages. We can see this distinction most clearly by looking at an example. So suppose we have a two-port network like this, with port 1 on the left and port 2 on the right. Energy input to the system from the left as a voltage wave may follow one of two paths. It may either reflect off port 1 and transmit back toward the source, or it may transmit through the network and exit at port 2. It is likely that some portion of the wave will follow each of these paths. If this is a complete description of the active signal paths, then the total port voltage at port 1 is equal to the sum of the initial incoming wave, V1+, plus, and the reflected wave at that port, V1-, minus, while the total voltage at port 2 is equal to just the outgoing wave, V2-. Minus. The two paths shown here are described by two S parameters. S11 indicates the portion of the voltage that entered at port 1 was reflected and exited the system at port 1, and S21 indicates the portion of the voltage that entered at port 1 transmitted through the network and exited at port 2. The other two parameters, S22 and S12, refer to the possible paths traveled by energy that is input at port 2. Note that it is possible for the signal exiting at port 2, V2 minus, to reflect off something external to the network and re-enter the system, appearing as a second input at port 2, V2+. Plus. This would also experience its own reflections and transmissions. Since a voltage measurement only tells you the total voltage present at the node and cannot determine where that signal came from, this external reflection would make it impossible to accurately measure the effect of the input at port 1. Therefore, in order to measure S parameters, all ports other than the input port must be match terminated or loaded with their own characteristic impedance. This prevents external reflections and allows accurate measurement of the voltages exiting the system. So characterization of an in-port network with S parameters requires in measurements, each of which consists of a known input wave at one port with all other ports match terminated. Formally, each element of the S matrix may then be calculated using this formula, where the Vj plus wave is defined to be inbound at port J, the Vi minus signal is defined to be outbound at port I, and Z0i and Z0j are the characteristic impedances at ports I and J, respectively. If all the network ports have the same characteristic impedances, this formula simplifies to this. Note that the criteria Vk plus equals zero, K not equal to J, is satisfied through the match termination of all non-driven ports. It should be noted that to fully characterize the system, you must know both its S matrix and the characteristic impedances of all its ports, which is often described in terms of a diagonal matrix like this. In the next lesson, we will work through the calculation of the S parameters for an example two-port network.